talk a little bit about business plan. Again, a lot of people call, they haven't done a business plan, and they want to see if they can open a restaurant. Don't do that. Even if you don't need the money from some outside source, <laughs> you need a business plan for yourself. It'll help you shake out where you're taking this thing, what you're doing. What is, what is a business plan? It's a book. It's a story. It's a story. Of, well, can you give me the 37 things I need to do a business plan? Yeah. But it doesn't, there is no right or wrong. There's all kinds of books on the market on business plans. There's, you can Google it. There's all kinds of things on Google about business plans. There are softwares on business plans. Doesn't matter. You can take a simple Word document, start typing. You're painting a story of, I'd like to create XYZ restaurant. Here's the menu I'd like to have. Here's this, here's that. Here. And you create a story and you make bullet points. And it is a working document. You're going to keep working on it way after the business is open because the business plan will change. I can tell you, you won't get money from outside sources without a business plan, period. But chances are pretty good you won't be successful without it either. It's a working document for you. An investor presentation. An investor presentation is critical for you to get money. What an investor presentation is, is it's about 8 to 12, 8 to 15 PowerPoint slides. It literally is me telling the investor, in some cases pictures, in some cases bullet points, here's what we're doing. It's the presentation. Most investors don't want to see the whole business plan until they know if they're interested in the investor presentation. Okay? It literally is, here's the name and logo of my restaurant, here's the city or marketplace we're looking to do it in, here's our target audience, here's how much sales and profits we think we'll do, Here's what our menu offerings are. Here's why we're so excited about it. Here's my management team. And oh, by the way, could you give us some money? And if you do, here's what you'll get. It's as simple as that. But then there's a piece before that investor presentation. It's called the elevator pitch. The elevator pitch is literally two minutes. If you can't tell somebody what it is you do or what it is you're trying to do within two minutes, you won't be doing anything. Because people are busy. I don't know if you've noticed, but in a lot of cases, they don't care. But when you get on the bottom floor of the elevator, by the time you get to the top floor of the hotel, building, whatever, if it's 15, 18, 20, 30 floors, whatever it is, you better have been able to tell the person who you are and what you're doing. Because when that door opens, the conversation's over. If you don't have a strong elevator pitch, you can forget about the investor presentation. If you don't have a strong investor presentation, you can forget about the business plan. And if you don't have a strong business plan, you can forget about the funding. And if you can forget about the funding, you can forget about the restaurant. It's as simple as that. Your next comment normally on the phone when we're talking about this will be, oh, I don't need anybody's outside money. I got plenty of my own. Usually when the guy or gal says, I got plenty of my own, they don't. Right? They're usually the person who just didn't have the guts to say to you, eh, I'm too lazy to do all that work. But usually when a person tells you they don't need the money, <laughs> they need the money. It's just like when you're negotiating with somebody and they say, oh, it's not about the money, but they might as well say, it's about the money. That is how this business works. Interestingly enough, if you look at every other industry out there, technology, retail, manufacturing, aerospace, if you look at them, that's how their businesses work too. You need an elevator pitch. You need an investor presentation. You need a business plan, which will include the concept idea, the summary of the concept. You'll need all of those working parts. That takes time. That's the pursuit phase. That takes a lot of work. If you don't get through the pursuit phase, don't spend the money on trying to get in the restaurant business. It is the most important phase 
when it comes to a startup. It is the phase that the most people ignore or move too quick through. So let's just for the sake of argument, let's say we have all that done. We're ready to go with all of those different documents, those different pieces. I mean, literally, you're going to have binders of information because they're going to be working documents that you're going to want to be able to change and make revisions to. And you're going to want to commit to it on a regular basis. I mean, you, it, you're going to have to invest an hour here, an hour there, three hours there, six hours here. Then there's nothing wrong with sitting it aside for a little bit, and then you come back to it. Your idea generating, that's the, that's the most wonderful part of the whole thing, is your idea generating. But let's say you have all this. <laughs>